How you doing? It's um, Davy Burke at End of Arley back here again this evening. We're here to speak about the big weekend of football we just had in that we had Kerry in Dublin, obviously the big game. Then we had Galway and Derry. And then lastly, we had the Talton Cup with uh, Westmead facing Cavan in the, in the first final of the Talton Cup. So first up here, we're going to look at the Kerry-Dublin game. And in fairness, I think it's safe to say it had a bit of everything. It was, it was, was, It's a game for the ages, in my opinion. It was a phenomenal spectacle. Edge of the seat stuff, the, the tense atmosphere oh, it was class it had cards it had controversial decisions it had a full house uh, what more do you want in my opinion so um and uh, where did you see it um i think we we called it probably fairly fairly right uh, on the last pod uh david to be honest with you i thought um it was kind of it kind of mapped out the way we were, we were kind of saying it was going to go I thought, um, I suppose, with all the, the short kickouts going on, you know, as as we said before, the transition defense, it was, you know, they got a lot of people behind the ball. Each team's got a lot of people behind the ball because of that, because you know the build up play was so was quite slow from the short kickout. I thought, um, I thought the matchups were interesting. Look at it from look at the the big boys came out to play uh, yesterday with the likes, obviously Clifford and uh, Sean O'Shea would uh, obviously stand out. And I thought maybe that. That bit of class probably showed it in the end, although with five minutes to go, I wasn't exactly that confident with Kerry. I thought um I thought look at Dublin throw their their true 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 champions in terms of their experience down through the years. You know, they had no right to be honest. At half time, I thought look at Kerry were well deserving of their four or five point go uh, um a league going in at half time. I thought they they really uh, they outclassed Dublin in the first half, to be brutally honest with you. And I thought, <clears throat> I thought that Carm Costello goal was it was absolutely an absolute dinger, I have to say. And that kind of that momentum changed then from from the last twenty minutes, and and Dublin obviously came roaring back. And to be fair to Kerry, we, we did question their, their kind of mentality and their their bottle uh, the the last day, but you know they 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 edged it out and. You know that's that's all they, they could do, and in fairness, Sean O'Shea, there's there's memes about him looking carrying his two big balls around with him today, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to Lee Roji, yeah, Lee Roji is right. So you have to look at you have to give it to him. It was an absolutely magnificent kick. Um, you know, I, I, I saw someone online tell me that you know the people were saying, oh, it wasn't it wasn't a pressure kick in terms of it was it was you know if it was to level it, then then yeah. it was a pressure kick. But like Jesus, lads, we just give him. Credit yeah. credit's due. Yeah. It was yeah. an absolute like it was it was it was a good sort of fifty I'm gonna say probably fifty two meters out. It yeah. was well outside the forty five meter line. Into the really breeze, good. into the hill. Into the hill, into the breeze. So absolutely fantastic. He's 22, 23 years of age. Fair play to him, uh clap in the back. And uh, anyway, that's that's my two points. What what did you think? Yeah, yeah, it was oh, I was brilliant game, really, really exciting, fantastic game to watch. Um what did I think in general? Yeah, I thought Kerry were the better side. Um, and I think, to be honest, to beat this Dublin team, to, you know, to, to, to kill them off, I think you have to be five points better than them to beat them by one. Yeah. I think that's just yeah. the kind of way it is. It, they're never yeah. bet. They're too experienced. They're too savvy. They're around too long. And they, in general, they make the right decision too often on the ball, you know, more than, yeah. more than often. So, so to beat them, I honestly think you have to be four or five, six points better. So, and, and that's what I think Kerry were yesterday, you know. Um, yeah. They what I was so impressed with was right. So Dublin obviously Kerry were down in the first half, and if that penalty went in, I think you know could have been a completely different. Um, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I think Kerry could have kicked on. I was a bit disappointed they didn't kick on, but then again, as we said, a team at Dublin's experience were never going to lie down. So no. so when Dublin came in the run, and uh, we'll come back to Costello's goal in a minute when they got the goal. Kerry and, and they went one two unanswered. Kerry went up the field and kicked three bad wides. Now, yes, there was a swirling yeah. wind. I know there's a swirling wind, and you seen Kilkenny Costello struggling the first half to kick into the hill. So I, I know that wind was there, right? Um, but they were still kicked three. It was a uh, Clifford kicked two of them, as far as I'm aware. There were three poor wides, and I was just like, oh no, they're reverting back here, they're falling back yeah. into old, old habits here. In that, um, you know, they really had to stop the rot and and they couldn't do it. And for me. Their defense held up unbelievably well. There, there was two or three massive turnovers in that period when Kilkenny was running through on goal. They got bodies around, no free yeah. turnover. Sean O'Shea came all the way back into the corner, turned over Sean McMahon to win the line ball going out. They won two or three huge defensive stops, which Kerry wouldn't be known for the last number of years. That's and, yeah. that, and for me, all the talk about Paddy Talley, all the talk about Jack O'Connor coming back in, they hadn't conceded a goal all year. 
I thought their defence, and for me, I, I, I'd be similar-minded. Defence wins championships. I thought they were absolutely phenomenal back there, and and they they really shut that Dublin tack out when they needed to. And I, I was so impressed by it. I was really, really impressed by it. I thought really they stood up when the forward line. Not that it was malfunctioning, but it wasn't clicking for that ten or fifteen minutes of that second half. It was not clicking up top, and 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 I thought the forward the back line. Just, just sorry, David, to cut across there. Just a small point. Well, before the game, I, I was surprised to be honest with you. Yeah, Jack, O'Connor, Jack O'Connor started with three boys across the middle. He, he switched Jim O'Connor into the wing forward spot. He started David Moore. And to be honest, the last twenty minutes, you know, David Moore came off. Fifty-two minutes gone, and you know we were saying the last day that experience wouldn't be there, and it kind of it did show. Uh, I thought um, that kind of. You know, it was a big gamble in my in my on in my opinion uh, to start the three of them. I thought he would have held one of them in reserve, like that for the last twenty minutes to give the, give that extra uh, extra punch coming into the home stretch. What did you think of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I would agree with you. The one thing I will say is, would we have got Sean O'Shea's goal without David Moran's kick pass? And would we have got? So you you know that kind of. I think they they uh, Moran was very, very good for the 50-odd minutes and then obviously gassed out, which we all knew he would. Um, yes, would you love him to have him come in then? Yes, but you're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul, aren't you? You kind of have to, you, you know, you don't really have that that quality depth of two David Morans, unfortunately. You know, that kind of way, like no, that's, um, yeah. that's, so, and, and look, let's be honest then, Jack Barry's not going to come on and win you a game. You know, that kind of no. way. Um, now, Dermot O'Connor didn't have his best game yesterday, but I think he's a very exciting young talent as well, I do think anyway. So, whereas, Moran would have came on and he have a huge lift with 20 to go, no doubt about it, experienced head. Um, but would they have been in the position they were in? That's the other side of it, you know. So so it, uh, it it's very hard to know on that. One point for you on um, Costello's goal, right? Uh, the finish of it, phenomenal. It was probably, I think as well, discussed already, the only place that he could have put it yeah. to go in the net, I'd say, with that one spot he put it, was, was a ridiculous finish under serious pressure and at serious pace. But if you flick back, where it came from. That's Kerry's first goal conceded this whole year, league and championship, right? And as you said, Paddy Talley and, and all this because of Tyg Morley dropping off and the help defence and plus ones and whatever else, right? Where did it come from? Paddy Clifford gave a routine hand pass, chest tight to David Moran, dropped yeah. the ball, very uncharacteristic, poor skill execution, dropped the ball. But who won the ball? James McCarthy. And you know, the first thing we're all coached in that, in, in that exact situation as an offensive team is, Foul the ball, slow the ball down, slow the ball down. The first thing we're all called, and you've seen the wily L Fox McCarthy, the for, Darren Moynihan hounded him to grab his top and dr- grab the jersey, right? And the wily L McCarthy got that ball out of there for loving the money. He was not being stopped, he was not being fouled there. He got the ball to the next man who moved it up the field to John Small, who moved it to Costello, who buried in the net because. McCarthy knew we got to go in first phase here. We have to go in the counter here. We can't get this ball slowed up. And I thought the speed of Dublin's transition for the goal was brilliant. And it just shows the risk reward of when you push men up the field and you get a turnover and if the other team can go direct and hard, it's a goal chance every time, you know? No, absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. It's, look, there was... You could see if they, they showed a good angle from, from behind the goal. Four, if there was, I think there was four Dublin lads running uh, from that transition, and you know, as you said, they, they came with serious pace. But again, it sh- just showed the, how how good the carry defense has been this year when they just allowed, as you said, like that uh, that shot was probably uh, at the angle. It was probably the guts of 18, 19 meters out, yeah. and he, he went right bang into the corner. It was a, an absolutely top top quality finish. Um, so I thought, look, at, um, I just thought they were missing. I just again, like Khan obviously didn't start that 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 edge up front in terms of that you know to beat a man like if, who from that forward line the last day like you know I know obviously uh, Costello and Paddy Small came on like but you you're not they doesn't they're not gonna they don't strike fear into you if you know what I mean from an individual point of view as in taking their man on with absolutely burning pace and like obviously as a collective they're very good in terms of knowing exactly what they want to do as a collective unit but. I, I just thought, obviously, look, we discussed the last day with Khan. He was, he was a huge, he was, uh, lost them. I, I think, was it, we were, we were hearing that it was a stress fracture or something. And it was obviously yeah. a, more than a hamstring injury. Like, so, look, it's, it would have been, I, I, I would have loved to have seen Khan playing uh, the last day just to see, you know, to see at the full pelt at the two of them and see, see what would happen. But as you said, like Kerry in the first half, that penalty, 
Comerford, uh, I tell you what, talk about a man, he's only about 24, 25, he was acting like he's 35, 36, close in, uh, close in age there with his uh, gamesmanship there. Uh, if I was the referee, I would have told him to get the fuck up and come on. But anyway, but um, it was, what should you make of that? That was, that was yeah. nice. Yeah. Look, it, it, it's one of these when you, you love it when it's with your side and it's infuriate when it's against you. You know, this kind of way, it's, it's, um, it's very, very hard to know. I think a rule has but, to be brought in. But, David, another thing also that if you ground injured now, they're saying it on commentary, obviously, with like John Small, the clock was ticking with John Small. So the teams yeah. are going to cop onto this rule here. So it's actually going to be. Well, yeah, yeah, but the same, like, I'd say Comfort wasted there before. Definitely three and a half. I think it was three and a half minutes. I think it was three and a half. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, the, 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 yeah, but that's what I'm saying. The GA, you can't play on without the keeper. There's a penalty to be taken. You know that kind of. And even Dublin, Dublin are so the dark arts. You know, this Dublin team of all this. They've got this persona of this lovely silky side. They even went as far to have David O'Hanlon togged out of the line. Like, did you see that? Like, you know, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. keeper ready to come in on the line. Like, that's next level preparation now, and that's what ifs and all that stuff. You can guarantee. That Dublin setup had that arranged that if we get a black card and we got a chance to go down, they can't play. They can't play ahead without the ref, without the goalkeeper. So Evan, you're to go down. Even though I know it was a penalty situation, I can't say they would have predicted a penalty, but I can guarantee you they would have got O'Hanlon ready to go. I.e., this is a serious injury, lads. Respect his injury. He can take as much time as he wants. We're going to make yeah. a sub. It's that serious. You know that kind of way. And then. Um, yeah. Then so yeah, something needs to be done, and it's not good for the game. Uh, ten minute black cards turn into a six minute job max, and 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 it's really not good for the game. So they're going to have to come up with a rule here now because we're all innovative. All us GA lads are very innovative, and you come up with a rule, we'll we'll do our best to get around it, as you know, you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. So it's uh, uh, well, it's, uh, I was going to say, look, at I thought we we're almost look at we're almost Croker being a kick and pitch. I thought Kerry's kicking game the last day was. No, even in the last, the goal he had good, uh, again, it could have been very easy to go along there than the very last kick out, but he showed great composure. He, 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 I, thought, I think he found Obreg Lee uh, on top of the D and they, they transitioned it quite well. I thought looking at Kerry's kicking game all, all day was was really, really good to watch. That, as we were saying the last day, that 25, 30 yard uh, kick pass was, was absolutely sublime. Uh, as you said, the risk reward, you know, they, they went a few long runs into Clifford uh, in the first half and they got they got their reward for it. Um, and as we said, Croke is a kick and pitch and, you know, it was nice to see see the last day instead of the the, the other shite my previous. Well, but wasn't it unreal to see, like, when, when like, party talking about the kick, right? Paddy Clifford, in my mind, put on an exhibition of outlet play. That outlet play where you're the third man in the inside line, you're told to yeah. get out, be the outlet yeah. at the 11. And and, and uh, I thought he put on an exhibition, he was winning marks. But the key thing for me is when Moran was kicking the ball up the field or whoever was kicking the ball up the field, right, that it sticks. The whole thing with an outlet and is yeah. you has the ball has to stick to you and you need to be hard run after hard run after hard run because your minimum going to be double marked in that role minimum yeah. because there's yeah. always a plus one in front of you always right yeah. and you when that ball is kicked the one bounce 30 minutes it has to stick to you. if it doesn't stick it's coming straight back at pace with bodies and the dam will burst that's ultimately what will happen here. No matter who you are or what it is, the dams will, Whereas if it sticks to Clifford, it gives Gavin White a chance to get up the field. It means there's a chance for another kick pass direct inside. It just gives your defences a couple of seconds to, re, to get a breather and reset. And I thought he was magnificent at it. Whereas most of them balls will get spilt or 50-50 and someone will break them. I thought he won his vast line share of them. And it really helped Kerry get up the field. And it killed Dublin, to be honest. I can, yeah, absolutely. Like it, even look at we, we were saying the last day as well. We're playing through the lines. Like Kerry are very good. There's ample uh, examples of the last day of Kerry just that 25 uh, meter kick pass and played through the lines. Didn't give as we we're saying for less time. That ball is less time in the air and it gave to, uh, the defenders. It's very hard, David. We were saying the last day for defenders to do anything about that. And I will look at as we we're saying too like. Like a lot of teams try to play that game, and I know what you're saying, it has to stick. But that ball, it's a lot to do with the, the ball that's coming into you as well. It's it, that ball has to be flight right, it has to be at the right angle, it has to be in your path. You don't, you, you should, you can't be checking if you're yeah. checking uh, to the inside, then then it's giving that defender even more of a chance to get a hand in. So it's, it's a lot to do with the, the skill set, um, of kicking that ball, um, obviously, right. And look, Kerry lads left and right foot, they weren't afraid, and even. Even I thought it was very encouraging. Even the last ten minutes, they still stuck with that game in terms of they still like they, 
they, they still fucking that Paul time Murphy's around. ball to Clifford. Paul, Paul Murphy's yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. So it's it's you know, and I thought, I thought, look at I, I know obviously Paddy was was maybe I'm just a bit. I know Paddy was obviously in the inside line. I was that, but are we becoming a bit immune to David Clifford's excellence here? I thought yeah. he was absolutely outrageous in the first half. I know he was quieter in the second half. He did. I don't know if you get a point or two in the second half. He did obviously win the free. He was quite a but he's setting up a lot of a lot of yeah. play here as well. But in the first half, Davy, he was he was ah, he was ah, outrageous. Exhibition was, stuff. Yeah, and that, but his like for a you know, he's a big man, he's left and right, he's just all the scales and he's nimble, he's good feet work as well. Like he's he for that fucking was it the last point of the first half. He took, was it Fisayan uh, on? He took, no, he took Gannon oh, on. Yes, Gannon. Correct. And, and McCarthy came up the double up, right? Correct. And yeah. He went yeah. by the two of them. Gannon fell over. He yeah. stood by, I think it was Fitzsimons then. He cut outside him back on the right. Yeah. Day. Like, it was an outrageous point. Like, like <laughs> you're talking about Mick Fitzsimons, James McCarthy, two of the best players ever, or definitely yeah. the last. You know, and... and and then, oh, mother of God, like he, he, yeah. And the way his body shape, he can just open his body up left or right from these mad angles and make it look routine. And I think he's nearly becoming a, yeah, yeah you're right. We're nearly underestimating his ability because it's week on week and he maybe doesn't get the credit he deserves, maybe, you know? Well, I, I maybe look at Polly. Obviously, Polly was very, very good now, but geez, I thought David had, he, I'd love to know his assists in terms of his hand and every score of the last day for Kerry. I thought, Look at I thought he was I just thought he was absolutely magnificent. Obviously, uh well I said like Shawnee I thought was very impressive in the first half as well. Uh probably look at he was probably a disappointed penalty. In the shape, the way he took the penalty, he took one, you know, he, he went so he, he came back straight from the ball and took one step to his left. I just the angle I don't know, obviously that's a set routine. Um, and it came, you know, obviously Comfort got down well for it, but he was it was probably two yards away from, from the centre, maybe two, yeah. maybe three, do you know what I mean? So he'd be disappointed with that, but... Um, for such I a just, pure striker, though, ain't it? Like, for, for such a pure striker, as we've all seen, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it was so uncharacteristic, wasn't it? It was such a poorly struck penalty. <clears throat> now, was it the break? Was it coming for three and a half minutes? Was it all that type of stuff? You you know, I don't know. Did you take penalties or what? Were you, were you, were you involved in any of that crack? An odd one, but I know, definitely, definitely, I probably took about... I probably I took a few of my time, but um, probably that look at the three and a half minute break definitely, definitely probably unsettled them. Uh, yeah. In terms of more time to think about it, where I'm picking a spot, where am I going to go here? I actually before that I didn't see Shawnee take a penalty before. Have you? Yeah, he is. He is the penalty taker. I'm not really certain. Yeah, he is the penalty taker. Yeah. Uh, is, yeah. But look, it's um, it, it'll be. Was but, uh, was, it thought, a, was it a was it a penalty? <clears throat> I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was. Right. Do you think? Yeah, so did it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he look, Odell tackled him from behind in the six yard box. What was going to yeah. happen? Of course, you know, of course yeah. it was going to, of course it was going to be called. Um, um, it, 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 Gavin White wasn't all that comfortable there now. I'm not sure he would have executed it. I, 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 Comfort could have smothered that ball. You know, yeah. if, Odell, if Odell was another yard or two away, you could see White. He, he just took off to his right there. I, I don't know where he was going, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't look all that comfortable, but but uh, the penalty had to be. I thought, I have to say, I thought Paddy Nealon was brilliant. That was a penalty for me. Yes, it might have been soft, but it's a penalty. It's a foul. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, the O'Shea, well, the spilled penalty, the ball was out. That ball is there to be pulled on. If O'Shea didn't pull ah. on, he'd be lynched. He'd be lynched. Is it? <coughs> Excuse me, did it? Yeah, I thought. Fucking Kevin next day, honest guy. I know he's a coach ah. man, but uh, but will you go? He he got done before, Davy. I think this is it. this is it. He got done before with the old McLaughlin incident. Uh, was it last year, two years yeah. ago, with the with the jaw break? And McStay on the day was on commentary, and he didn't call it, and he got piles of abuse online. And I think maybe he's gone the other way now. Like to say that was a car defence is just ah. bonkers to me. Uh, uh, like, and uh, you know what a brilliant refereeing decision took us time talk to the linos talk to everyone now there's good lads there martin mcnally's a very good referee he was on one line connor lane yeah. maybe was connor lane the other i think it was yeah yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah like in fairness that's a fair three-man team now fair three-man team and like i i i you know what i love watching these boys because they generally get the calls right and you even see it i will get to it in a few minutes but in Derry. Derry went in when they were under pressure, right? They went looking for a few soft frees and Carly just wouldn't give them and yeah. they weren't frees. Yeah. You, you, you know, club level, they'll just be called all day long because it's the easy thing to do. And it's like, oh, f- f- drive you fucking mental. I love watching Paddy Neal in there, Brendan Carly, and these top lads 
do the job and be very, very good at it. I, I think it's I think it's brilliant. And that was one of the most enjoyable things for me being involved for a couple of years with Wicklow and in the county scene. 90% of the time, you were guaranteed a real good, strong set of officials. You know, that kind of way yeah. who who yeah. were who were not out of who were just capable of doing the job fairly and that's all you want well that's all i want anyway it's just a good crack at this you know that kind of way yeah and, um, yeah, yeah. But like, it, you drop down the levels and then our uh, mother of god you know some of it is some of it's not great you know um well it's any other talking points the last day um, well john john quickly on that john small got a run around from sean o'shea i think it's fair to say yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and 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 that would have been a matchup now that dublin would have fancied big time because small has always done a very good job on uh on um on, on O'Shea. So in fairness yeah. to Johnny, he gave him a run around there. Even small, like small needs to clean up the disciplinary act too here now. Black card again. It was soft against Gini, but Gini wasn't going anywhere. Like Gini's not lightning pace. You know, no. but he wasn't going. I didn't think he was a huge threat. Was it necessary? No. I didn't think so. Small is yeah. lightning quick. Big set yeah. of, he, you know, he he has hamstring problems because of his pace. You know that kind of way. Like right he, yeah. he could have um he could, in my opinion, he was easily enough could have got back with Gainey there rather than tugging him. You know that kind of way. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. for me, the bad, you know, the Benny Moore mentality. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was disappointing. That was disappointing. Um, how did you think Fenton? Who won between Fenton and Barry? Do you think? I think. Uh, good question. I uh, yeah, didn't look at that. He did. I think they probably uh, look, uh, look at from a carry perspective. I think they would have been happy with Barry's performance on yeah. the last day. Obviously, look at I think Fenton is more of a cog in the wheel in Dublin's machine than 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 Barry is to carry. If you know, yeah. to Barry's yeah. a bit of a, a bit of a spoiler, we'll say. Uh, Fenton still had a decent game the last day, but um, I thought. Look at the, as I said in the intro, like there was an awful, there was a lot of short kickouts. There wasn't there wasn't that much contested ball in terms. Of, the midfield, yeah, in terms of they probably broke even, David. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Fenton kicked one point. Like, Brian yeah. Fenton, could, Brian, Dublin, today's Dublin, and without Con, but they need three yeah. to four points in play from Brian Fenton. And I know that's mental, I know it's mad to say that, but that's the fact. They need Fenton in his pump kicking three or four points in play, left and right. And and yeah. and and he's well capable, as you know, of doing that. And, and in fairness to Barry, he does seem to stifle him, whatever it is about him. Yeah. Now, there was a couple of uncharacteristic wides by Fenton too, uh, you know. Yes, they one of yeah. the next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now again, was that into the hill again? I think it might have been. No, uh, uh, no. that was the second half. That was the second Sorry, half. That was the second half. Yeah. So, yeah. So there was a couple of that, but but still, it, 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 fair play to Jack Barry, like because he wouldn't be half the footballer Fenton is. Let's be honest about it. You know what I mean? Like no, so. Uh, no, but no, he, no, no, no. he 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 well, he seems to have it. What about um? Tom Sullivan getting up the field, kicking another score from cornerback. That, by my calculation, <laughs> that's seven points now. You would you would have an uh, awful time now if he was in there on you in your day. Oh, uh, fuck. I tell you what. There's some pointing going I, on. There's some pointing going I, on. I returned my two week fours, not one day, yeah. two of them. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, midfielder. And the midfielder. Yeah, uh, yeah, ah, look, he, he, Jesus, yeah. Unbelievable. Like he, no, he didn't, he didn't go up the pay. Maybe not as much, two, three not, times. As much. not as much. He didn't want to drop the pitch that, but look, it's she's there for a cornerback. In fairness, to him, he can really take a score. Uh, yeah. like he was literally over the black spot. How comfortable was it? Like, because I thought he was shooting on the right and then he just cuts it on the left. And uh, oh, yeah, serious, yeah, 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 serious, absolutely serious. Like, um, I thought, look at, I thought, at look at, and also just getting back to that, that we say, did you notice Dublin seemed to play with kind of two, two sweepers the last day in terms of not, not as in when the, when the play was slow. They kind of, you know, it was uncharacteristic. Usually it's only one. Did you notice that? Two of them on either side of the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, was, that was another point I thought was interesting. Well, you know what took them, fight. and you know what, like, took that completely out of the game was Kerry's directness in their play. So yes. when Dublin when yes. Dublin couldn't slow down Kerry's transition, they couldn't develop the two plus two, and then all of a sudden Moran's kick passing in, Graham O'Sullivan's kick passing inside, just completely took any spare men or any system Dublin were trying to implement out of the game, and that's when you got the goals and the goal chances. Clifford's brilliant mark, all that stuff came for yeah. from long range balls, and like they were all diagonal. I, I didn't think see too many driven down anyone's throat. Now they were forwards no. balls. They were they were under the diagonal. You know they were brilliant. Floating, floating. Yeah, in. Floating. yeah, exactly. And and but a uh, one point, Jesus, just to mention, for Sean O'Shea's goal, 
like, uh, and this is a really yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Own merchants defending mother of God was uh, like a oh, quality, quality player, obviously. And um, oh, you wouldn't see it if one of my lads done at club level. I'd shoot him honestly. Like it, 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 it's very, very poor, very, very, very basic standard one on one defending. Block the goal up, mark the goal. If we need, if if you're in that position, Sean O'Shea, concede the score, take the score, belt away, Sean. Yeah. We we'll go again. Like he burst out of the line. He had McCarthy, the ball was over. McCarthy had O'Shea. O'Shea yeah. had done McCarthy. Merchant just had to stay there. Where would O'Shea went? Would have looped back around. It would have fisted the score, and we would have went again. Uh, Merchant burst out to a man that was already marked. He burst out to a man that was already marked, expecting Shawnee to pop it out to recycle the ball. Shawnee cuts inside goal. It was shocking defending by such an experience. Did, 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 fa- did he fake? As in, did he kind of go to kind of? Fa- did he faint him? Uh, did he back door him like? No, as in like Shawnee. Did he? Did he? You know that obviously. Did he show that he was going to pass it out? I did don't. He, he- I, I I don't think so. I know I, I could be wrong here. I think Merchant said right McCarthy has this covered I'm going to yeah. burst out for an interception maybe you know that kind of way yeah. in, Jay only has one option here and it has to be to square the ball or to, sorry to recycle the ball back out because because what do you see and then 99% of the time happen that's what oh, happened yeah. you know? yeah. so yeah. so I think Merchant now I, I don't know I'll have to watch it properly again because you could be but I don't think Shawnee it wasn't a backdoor cut it didn't look to me like a dummy he just cut inside I, I, I yeah. just think oh he's he good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he yeah. couldn't believe his eyes when Merchant left. Him, so <coughs> I say he couldn't believe. He still, he still, he still had a good bit of work to do in terms of when he did cut it back inside. He bet obviously. Uh, there's still, yeah, McCarthy, and he could round the counter. Obviously, it was a, and yeah. someone come back in the line as well, and even Nick the line. As well. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was still a very good finish from where I know what you're saying though. From where he started, uh, he still showed serious composure, but. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be, look at Merchant, just, he gambled. He just, he oh, just, yeah. for a split second, he turned his brain off. And, be- uh, because there's no him. way in that. There's no way he didn't gamble, right? He's, he's around too long. Do you, do you know what I mean? The, if he was, if, yeah. if it was Lee Gannon or someone who's only into the side, right? And yeah. rush a blood to the head and burst out of the defensive line, you know, and then, oh shit, I'm out of position here. But uh, the likes of a Merchant's playing fucking six years now. And he, but yeah, he's, you know, to, to be honest, David, he's probably programmed in training, in Dublin training. They always come back out. They never yeah. threaten that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's very, yeah, yeah. I'd say it's very programmed into right. He's going to come back out here. He's yeah. obviously not going to cut in along the in line. No yeah, way. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. And like you know what? Um, like I actually seen Mayo uh, do this very, very successfully. You know, Dublin and their cut back and Conor Callow kicks yeah. any carries up the line and uh, yeah, yeah. Kong, Kong, Kong goes back, back door. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Pass, right. Yeah. And. Dublin cut our uh, Mayo cut that out expertly in the semi final last year. Dermot O'Connor played the plus one all game. Well, sorry, developed as the plus one all game, yeah. but he never engaged the ball. He didn't want to know about the ball. All he done was stood 15 meters behind Con, behind Kenny, yes. behind Paddy yeah. Small, and he cut the he cut the back door out. It was a brilliant bit of coaching. I know you, we won't go into the, their level of coaching, but it was a brilliant bit of coaching. I thought by the Mayo team to cut that option out and the likes of a merchant. While what well, it wasn't what he was intending to do, he was cutting out the goal chance for for Kerry there until he burst out of that space. And sure, Sean, he wasn't going to have to be asked twice to take it. You know. No, absolutely not. It was, uh, I know, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, I don't know, it was, hold on, we're just back. Oh, yeah, we're back. Anybody, yeah. anybody on, um, give it out to us. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey K, not really a pressure kick. No one expected him to score. Didn't think it was a free in first place. Shame he didn't go to extra time. No, I was happy enough to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're in, if you're in Leinster, lads, the last thirty-five years, you'll you'll know, uh, you'll know the crack. We're, we're, I think we're happy enough to move things on. Well, just, just to keep, just to keep back there from Mikey, like you know, Kerry haven't beaten Dublin in two thousand nine. Uh, two thousand nine. So obviously it's going to be a pressure. A pressure. It's always going to be a pressure kick to send, send them into all on finalists. But sure, like, like let's be honest, right? Who was the momentum with? The momentum was at Dublin. You like right. you know like right. like and 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 Kerry there was lads down I was only saying they neither of them would have played a game anywhere near that intensity in probably twelve months you know that kind of way so yeah. so really and truly there was lads flagging all over the shop I, if I was Kerry I did no not saying they, they wouldn't have won but I wasn't looking for extra time I I you know get out the gap that's what I would have been at. Um. I, I'd say with five minutes to go, though, Kerry would have taken extra time. To oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Anyone um, else? 
uh atc welcome back lads obviously there was a blank screen there for, for oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so uh, to, to, to wrap it up i'm sure we'll do a preview we won't do it, uh, in the coming weeks or whatever before the next game but um to wrap it up I, I to summarize it we all talk about shawnee we all talk about clifford and potty and Ganey and, and everyone else i talked to killian spillan made a big i thought he was very energetic i thought he was lively he tried hard he won a lot of good ball um Looks like a man putting his hand up for me. Uh, Paul Murphy made a difference as well. I thought Brian Begley was brilliant to wing back. And one point on that, in fairness to the keeper, right, he's been scrutinised all year. I don't think Kerry knew who their number one was. It was the two Shanes. Is it Shane something? Shane Ryan? Shane Murphy. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And Shane Ryan is the keeper at the minute, right? Yeah. And they've been scrutinised all year and they're chopping and changing. And in fairness to him now, Dublin... Uh, and Mayo are definitely the two best teams in the country at the press, right? They're definitely the two best team and they set your trap and they lead you on. And and when the chips were down yesterday, he stuck to his guns and he still don't think that ball 20, 30 yards at times, which was very, very impressive. And Brian Begley for me, or Brini Begley or whatever you want to call him, was that was probably the best man Kerry had in that regard because he had balls on him ended because other lads didn't, try to get the separation. Other lads didn't look to get on the ball as, as well. And you know as well as I know, happens on every team, that certain yeah. lads, when, 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 when the wind... Pretend, is, pretend yeah, to show. Yeah, pretend yeah, to yeah. show first. Yeah, and the worst thing is... The, yeah, bluff it. And the worst thing then, Davey, is they're in the fucking space. If you're not going to yeah. show right for get out of the space yeah. at least, fuck yeah. off. Exactly. You see, they won't do that in there because then you know they're bluffing. You know that kind of way? Like, <laughs> you know, they'll stand in this... I'm here, lads. I'm here. You asked me to be here, you know? You told me to run into the two pocket or whatever. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. I told you to run in there. Don't stand in the fucking there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so there's all that. But I just thought Begley came up with a couple of important balls at important times and I just thought it was it was good play. And so lastly to summarize for me, my last point on Kerry is their defense I thought was brilliant. I really think fair play to Tally and O'Connor for shoring that up. Um this crack of playing out and out forwards, wing forward is a joke. It's gone. It's just done. And fair play for them boys coming in and they really, really short of that defence. It took a wonder goal by Conor Costello that could never be stopped, was never going to be stopped by anybody um, to, to break it down. And you keep Dublin to 113 in 76 minutes of football. It's yeah. a savage, savage return, you know? Yeah, no, big time. I couldn't uh, agree with you there now. I still I won't preview, but I still still a few question marks over Kerry. I think I think the obviously the win over the rubs is probably psychologically a big thing for them. Yeah. I think that they'll probably will kick on. I hope. Um, <laughs> I hope it's not the case with me all last year. They left the drums that sent me in there. All out of final. That's the final. Yeah, yeah, that's their final here. So I don't think they will. I think Jacko's too cute for that. Uh, he led them well, well drilled. Although he was. It was a very uncharacteristic uh, with Jack his celebrations after the final whistle. Yeah. He was he's very huge, animated now. Huge pressure, and a huge pressure. Yeah. Like it, This game has been mapped out since the start of the year. He, we yeah. all knew this was the game. Kerry Dublin yeah. semi-final. No matter what we all said, that was coming. It was happening. It was happening. And 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 uh, huge pressure. And look, Jack made a big call. As a Kildare man, I'll know better than anyone. Jack made a huge call talking online about managing Man United while he still was managing a Division 1 team. You know what I mean? Like, So he made a big call to leave Kildare last year unexpectedly to go back to pick up the Kerry job. You know that kind of way. So, how, how did, as in he was he was all for the Kildare job again this year, did he? Was he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was he was there. He was signed up. Place. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then all of a sudden, when 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 um, when Tyrone beat Kerry in the semi final, I think things changed then. So uh, and obviously then there's, the way, a, there's a few phone calls now. Yeah, yeah, phone calls now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, look, he is where he is, and sure, look, he's in an all Ireland final. So uh, you know, he, but but I know. That comes with pressure. When you make a decision as a manager, right, I'm going to make, I know it's not going to go down well, but I'm going to make this decision because this is where I want to be. Uh, you you know, there's huge pressure on him to back that up. And now he's in an All-Ireland final and he'd be hot favourites, you know? Ah, yeah, no, big time. He was, look, he was always, well, like he was coming, like I know, is he is he from Carcevino? He's from Southwest Kerry. He's fucking... He's, he's Car- Car- direction, yeah, definitely. He's south, yeah, it's, it's he... way down. Way down, Jamie, and I was just like, it must be four hours to Newbridge. It's yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and and a good age man as well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, good so age he, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time, big time. And, and, um, and look, you and, wouldn't, you wouldn't blame him. And he's done two very good years. Got Kildare promoted. Like, like yes, uh, yeah, as Kildare yeah. people, I don't think anyone could have. It m- might have been just the manner, just the manner. I'd say. Other than that, I don't think Kildare had any, you know, issue with. But um, yeah. just maybe. But like, 
when you're traveling up and back, geez, it takes a toll. I, I know traveling in an hour up and back can take its toll on you end over course of a year. You know that kind of way. Never mind going four uh, hours a day, you know. Yeah, Sad. literally, Jamie. I suppose you get the phone calls made with the three hours yeah, in the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> get, the, <laughs> get the shite out of the way, is it? <laughs> well, uh, you have to be sure it's like it's like minded turkey youngsters. You have to exactly, yeah, keep yeah. them all happy. And, and you have who's, yeah, you have who, who's, about, in the ball, who's in the ball corner this week? Yeah. <laughs> what about the what about the twenty youngsters in the backroom team you're trying to manage their uh, egos? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Jeez, egos a queer thing. Uh, right, we'll move Connor, on. You, we'll move on. Oh, go we'll, on. Sorry, go on, go on. Go on. Yeah, no, we we'll move on. But Connor, question for Davy here: Two, three players to watch for in Kildare Club Championship. A dark horse for the Kildare Championship. Cheers. Ah, Jesus, Connor. Uh, you put me on the spot here. Do you want the political answer or do you want the real answer? Ah, um, come on, come uh, on. Uh, um, I will look. I think it's, 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 it, you know, uh, Paddy McDermott's a hugely, hugely exciting player. I have him at uh, Manute Sigerson at the minute. and uh, Well, not at the minute, but I'll be, I'll be managing at the minute. Plays wing back for Nice there. High, top class player. Was coming on this year for Kildare with 10 or 15 minutes to go. Really expect him to push on now and start featuring as of next year properly into the team. I would, and he has the ability to light up, uh, light up the championship. Uh, no doubt about that. Obviously, then Ben McCormick is a hugely exciting player, um, hugely, hugely exciting player, and I really just hope he continues his his county form into the club. Need so I'll give you, I'll give you them two boys, uh, Paddy McDermott from Nace and Ben McCormick from Sassies. I think to uh, to hope, hopefully, them two boys can do it, put their best foot forward. Anyway, what what age is McCormick, uh, Jimmy? Is McCormick? Ah, uh, I can't give you any, a twenty-five. I'm going to throw out twenty-five, okay. twenty-six max around okay. that. Um, so coming, and Paddy, into peak years. yeah, Paddy's only Paddy's only twenty-one, I'd say. So uh, they're all young guys, both young guys, you know. Right, we move on. All the way in Derry. Um, all the way in Derry. So, yeah, what a game. Um, and and look, and uh, you know, I'm gonna. <laughs> Before the final now, you're going to have to take off that Mayo cap now and start giving this Galway team a bit of credit because I can't keep flying this kite on my own or flying no, this flag on my no, own. You know I mean? To be fair, no, hold on a second. I, I, <laughs> did, I did give them credit. I did yeah, against yeah. Armagh in Ferris. Um, I suppose, Jesus, the last year, I suppose, what do we say? We said we said Galway probably had the better individual players, but we felt Derry maybe were, were better, a better coach team. And again, to give Galway their dues, uh, or the roles, should I say? Uh, they adapted um, at half time. I thought they were very intensive. First ten minutes, fifteen minutes, as we said before, Jerry went three 0 up, and it's where they're in the all the final already. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they looked really impressive in the first twenty minutes, and then they just fucking stopped playing. They just yeah. uh, very uh, tentative, just just literally slowed down. The transition was so slow. Tempo went and. Joe, it was just, I say, with Galway in fairness, Comer showed great leadership. He got the first score after 21 minutes. Um, and they, they just, I thought, I thought um, going at halftime, Galway would have been happy going uh, four, four, four all at half time, especially from the start they had. Um, but fuck it, Debbie, I was, I was disappointed with Derry. Jesus, in the second yeah. half, I just, you know, I thought maybe, I thought probably, they're probably not happy, but did they believe? Were they happy enough with the Ulster Titan this year? Did they believe they're good enough to get into the All Ireland final? I just thought maybe Galway, you know, probably had that. Just I, I thought they had a bit more class. Definitely had more class in terms of the in the forward se- sector. Um, obviously Comer and, and Shane Walsh and Finnerty was quite in fairness. Tierney worked hard. Uh, McDade worked hard. Connery worked hard. Uh, I thought, you know, in, even the first 10 minutes, I thought Conor McDade, a few wild shots. And yeah. I was thinking, oh, this, this could be going. This Because Derry looked so, so good. Rogers broke the line a couple of times, scored two great points. Put the when, right, when, Rogers, when, when Rogers, right, when he bet, uh, when he stepped by Conroy that time, I think it was called 3 yeah. 0 up, I think, or something, right? Yeah. Conroy was in as a plus one. And I was like, oh, fuck, they did. They, they, the Galway are in big trouble here. I was like, they're, yeah. This, they're, yeah, I was like, they're in big, that was so casual that he just stepped them, dinked it over the bar, and I was like, oh, these are in big trouble here. And 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 maybe you're right. Maybe it was, uh, no, maybe Galway were fighting. Again, if I remember correctly, against Armagh, Galway were pretty poor for the first 10 or 15 minutes as well, if I remember. I think yeah. they were. They were, yeah. Yeah. So, so maybe it's a, maybe they're, it's something in the camp or whatever. I don't know. But what I will say is, maybe you're right. Maybe... The occasion and and the All Ireland final in they thought in touch and distance kind of can choke you or you know you know can can really can really just wrap you up and, and and you can lose oxygen like you know and they did not seem like the same team you know as 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 we had seen previous but I'm not 
you know, going to say, I told you so, but I think when the likes of the Derrys, right, when you're limited up top, which they are, the Shane McGuigan, and like Benny's a decent fella, now Lachlan's a decent fella, you know, yeah. not out, not not top class forwards, right? McGuigan is, McGuigan's the best of them. And, um, you know, you're a little bit limited up top. Like they scored six points in 73 and a half minutes of football. Six points, right? You know, and then they got a goal after 73 and a half minutes. Like, like, like where are we going here? Like, like yeah. I thought we left yeah. that in 2010, that crack. Like, you know what I mean? So, so, so that's gone. It might have been, but just, just to add to that, when, and uh, my point uh, why I couldn't really see Galway beaten was when you, so the level of conditioning, the level of pace, the level of power of Derry, they've, they've been flat track bullies. They've been blowing teams out of the water with, with Clare and even the Ulster Championship. I'm on record many times saying I didn't think it was a high quality championship this year. I thought it was a poor quality championship. Donegal were just waiting to be bet. Tyrone were waiting to be bet. And I think Monaghan put up the best show against them, but kicked 21 wides so that they killed themselves. You know that kind of way? So, so, yeah. The other team up, so I think Derry got a bit of a false sense, and the whole country maybe thought Derry are better than they are. But when you take, when you take the power, the pace, and the conditioning out of it, what I mean by how do you take it out of it? You meet a team of the same condition, similar level of condition, i.e., a Division One team, right? Then you take that. Then it comes down to skill. Then it comes down to scoring forwards, and ultimately Galway have three of them. And, and, and Derry have won, you know, and, and, and ultimately for me, that's what it comes down to when you meet an equal opposition, an equal opposition, it comes down to coaching and it comes down to scorers. Whereas when you're more better conditioned than them, you'll just bully them out of the way, you know. But to be, to be fair to go away, Davey, and again, I suppose I'm about Ulster football, you think about Ulster football, go away in the second half and it was great to watch. They they went after the Derry kick out, they pushed yeah. up eight, eight lads with the 45. And Jerry, think about this though. They wouldn't be used to that. No, they, should the other teams concede the fucking <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. so, so like Derry, they could they were pinned back in, and they literally you could see it was just pure panic. They actually yeah. didn't know what to do here. And we're saying the Jerry goalie. I can't think of his first. His, his Lynch. first or Lynch. Thank you. Like he's suspect at the best of times, as you're saying. Oh, we we said it. We said it. Yeah. We said yeah, yeah. So like it was look at. Goal were, were rewarded for going, were being positive, going after their kick out. And if you look at, if you let Derry, try, you know, build yeah, it up slowly, yeah, keep yeah. keep the ball, fucking this soccer slow pace, you know, they're, you know, and they, they'll obviously they're well used to that game. But if you put the squeeze on them, it was fucking brilliant to watch. I have to say, I, I was absolutely delighted, even with my Mayo cap on me, to yeah. really see the squeeze and and that that positive play being rewarded the last day. And you could see Derry didn't know what to do. You're right with the conditioning, the class in terms of the t- yeah. Look at Goy heads uh, when you when you the top class boards. You're right, like McGregor uh, would be their top class. Billy Hearn is is he? He's I don't think he's that standard no, yet. No, he's, he's not. Like, no, 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 he's no. not. So like you, you're talking Coburn, Shea, Shea Walsh would be would be that standard that ilk in terms of the top probably uh, top ten fours in the country. Yeah, you'd yeah. have to say. Definitely. Oh, well, well Walsh is, Walsh is, Jesus, Walsh is in the top three in my book, top four in my yeah, book. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, and Comer's so, not far behind him. No, he's not far behind him. So, like, you know, when you put that, and Finnerty is a good kind of, a good kind of hot well, goal. Kinda, you know, you know what happened to Finnerty? Chrissy McKay, McKay. that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but it, it was, it was, it was unusual though, uh, JB, they put, was it, Chrissy on instead of, they had yeah. Rogers, Rogers on Comer. I thought McKay Cusky. would have been on Comer. Yeah. Or, yeah. McCluskey yeah. was on Shea Walsh, Walsh, wasn't it? Walsh, yeah, yes. right. Do they? So obviously they don't want McKay to leave the full back line. Obviously, is what it okay. must be, right? Uh, and, okay. and now I know Finnerty through college football, right? Lethal left foot, now lethal left foot, right? Um, wouldn't do the work maybe that another corner forward might do. You know that kind of it, right? But he's yeah. a, a poacher now, lethal finisher, right? So. Yeah. So I'd say Gallagher knew this man won't be drifting back too far now. I'll put my best man on him. But you know what else? McK- uh, Rogers, I couldn't believe how uncomfortable Rogers looked in the full back line. Like, so he's been brilliant out the field. Michael Murphy, brilliant, right? When he was out the field, kicking two scores early on, brilliant, right? Legs, yeah. everything, football. How uncomfortable did he look? Which I couldn't believe when, when he was one on one with Comer. He, he, he was at sea, like for the first goal. Jesus, Comer done him very easy, I thought. I thought he'd done him very, very... And I, I, I might have slipped or whatever, but, you know, what do you do there? If you're anyway isolated, you got to get contact on him, stun that man to get him turned, get him stopped, and then again, if he takes a score, he takes a score, whatever. But but uh, or are these boys too used to having so many bodies in front of them that when John Daly took the defence out with a pass, what, yeah. what, what, what is the panic? 
But it, it was it was even uh, Dick. It was a straight straight laid ball. Yeah. It wasn't. Yeah. It was very unusual here. It's like yeah. for some reason they had no one. There was they had no sweeper back. It was oh. like John Daly walks up to the forty five yard line. Like Cobra made one run. You could yeah, see one in the back of the goal. One yeah. run. Yeah. And as you said, Rogers. It was it was bad defending, and it was just yeah. very very Dairy like in terms of. Uh, not get mid back. Um, I couldn't believe it. To be honest, it was yeah. very direct. I, I what, like it was. Was it the? Uh, is it fair to say now? And we pray. Well, I certainly have praised Rory Gallagher all year. I think he's a very innovative coach. I think he's. I think he brings huge energy to it and more power to him. Right. Um. But I think it's fair to say here it was a mistake. McCabe should have picked up Comer when Rogers either going on the Finnerty or Walsh because would he not have suited Walsh? Rogers to use his legs against him, you know, to use his legs to bring him up the field. I, I, I just think yeah. it was a mistake. Now, maybe it was they were looking because it looks to me now, I don't know either of the guys personally, it looks to me Rogers is the more fuller man than McCaig. So, w- was it the power of Comer they were afraid of? You know, was it the did he, was that what they were worried about? I'm not sure. I'm just trying to work out how I'm they not sure. I, to be honest, uh, Jamie, I, I marked it like Roger, like McCaig is a better man marker than, than Rogers. Uh, yeah. I, like I, I couldn't, like Homer is more of a threat than Finnerty in my book, uh, in terms of directness, in terms of that, that physicality. I think McCaig is physically stronger than Rogers. Now, there's not much in it, but I think, I think McCaig is better feet, better, uh, better man marking skills than Rogers. I thought that was a, that was a big mistake. I yeah. thought, look, at, uh, we have plays, uh, praised Rory Gallagher, but we did say before the Kerry game. That you know, that, will they change up their game for yeah. poker? Like as as said uh, previous, like you know, you're looking at you know the Johnny Gauns the last four or five years. That game will will might will win will win Ulster, but yeah. ultimately it's not going to get to your end goal here. Huh. So look, like again, you you could see them, like they get turned over, they just go sprinting back to the bloody 45, 65 yard line, um, and like they don't like they don't go after the kick out. Like no. I just don't understand this. How a fucking team does not go after an opposition kickout yeah. when the reward is so high? At least just, on occasion, in that you know, uh, you know, you, you know, at least after we, what we always say, the, 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 the typical one is after the free. You know, you know, everyone does it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why on earth do they not do that? It, it, it's mind boggling. One, one big thing for you, I noticed, and 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 well, I maybe noticed this because maybe it suits my narrative, but I think, I think, Derry. A little bit fell off the cliff, and I I said this to your previous conditioning about blowing the head off lads. Had they went too hard for too long and only using the same seventeen lads, let's be honest, right? Like we all knew, Niall Toner would start as number twenty two, and Emma Bradley be straight in for whoever. Yeah. That's what that's what happens every week, right? And and when the chips were down, they were bringing on young guys there yesterday or Saturday, and for me, they made no contributions, zero, and they did not look ready to be out there uh, on that day, which is another way fall back on. Did Gallagher use enough of his squad throughout the year? I'd, I'd say he didn't. I'd say he didn't, you know. Um, but one point to that, for their goal when Aaron Lynch was caught up the field, Connor Glass was turned over, right, when when, yeah. when, when Comer kicked into an yeah. empty net, right? Again, the pace of the transition by Galway was brilliant. Two kick passes. It was never going to be stopped. And and I, I loved all that. Right, that's fine. Yeah. But for me, a telltale sign was Connor Glass got tackled, was trying to pop it out, got turned over. And if you watch this back, he stopped dead. Looked around as in to kind of throw the hands up. In other words, uh, you know, a uh, shite. And then reacted and the ball, with your man was gone. Whereas, uh, in my opinion, Conor Glass of two weeks ago or four weeks ago would have got contact on that, fouled that, slowed that up. And then there he got reset or whatever. Would have been close. But I thought it was a little look of, oh, fuck this. Or, or I just thought it was a little bit of mental fatigue or something. You should w- have a look at it and see. Yeah. I just thought he, he, he stopped. For too long, I, I couldn't react. Then you know, I probably David. To be honest with you, they, they, like Derry hadn't gone to Croker in obviously a semi final in, in God knows how long since ninety eight or something like that. And like I know myself, if you know, uh, by that probably fifty was it sixty minutes? It was sixty two minutes. Sixty two. Like yeah. they, they had what five points on the board maybe at that stage, yeah. Yeah. and it was pure. I'd say frustration. The day wasn't going right for them, and it was just. It was just out of his. It was just pure frustration, and yes, yeah. he, you know, he that initial reaction. But like, it's it just it's hard to. It'll be interesting. Look, I'd be very interested to see. And we did lord Rory Gallagher um, in around the year. In, in fairness, like, but again, it'd be interesting. Has he is he a one trick pony here? Now I know. Yeah. Look, he's very and this is harsh. You know, I know this is harsh. He's developed a team out of nowhere. 
got them a Rooster title, got to, to, to a semi final. But like, if they, I know, look at Rory be very ambitious. I'm sure he has all in aspirations. But like, for them to have all in aspirations, he has to change change this up a bit. He can't he can't be going down the same path as he did with Johnny Gall. It seems to be the carbon copy what yeah. he did with Johnny Gall yeah. uh, back four or five years ago. So that's going to be that's, interesting for the next. Is year. that not ten? Uh, is that not ten years ago? No, he managed Johnny Gall. Oh after, no, his second stint. Yeah, but he didn't yeah, do. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't do what they what they done with Johnny Gall the first thing. I.e., go out in twelve and have that stinker. Was it twelve or eleven and have that stinker uh, with Dublin? 11, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eleven. Yeah, 11, 11, and then twelve. Yeah, yeah. Come back and play a bit more offensive and win the thing. You know. So he he, yeah. he doesn't have that. If if the uh, this is my concern. If that was the plan, right, lads, we'll get as far as we can this year. We'll max out, and next year we'll push on a bit with more. Offense. He, we would have seen these forwards feature him at some stage, and. They're not there, I'd say. You know, like yeah. right now, I, I, I don't claim to know everything about Derry Club football or Derry football, but if if they were that good, why wouldn't we have seen them or seen snippets of them or seen something of them? You know, so I'm not sure where he can develop this plan to if he doesn't have the materials. Yeah, and you said in fairness, you said, uh, valid point with with the uh, good Johnny Gall team back in the early uh, back in 2012. They obviously had three of the best. Max Fadden, uh, Brady, yeah. and Murphy. And people and forget Murphy. that. People just think it was all Frank McGlynn bombing. It was all Paddy McGrath. Yeah. It was all Carl Lacey. Man, like, man, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no way. Is there someone uh, on there? Shawnee K. Uh, they've had heart. Hold on. Shawnee K. Said they've had heartbreak in Mayo, but nothing will touch P. Joyce on Guy rolling up to Pro Park and winning Sam Sunday week. <laughs> <laughs> what about? I tell you what, there could be a bit of friction between uh, P. Joyce, P. J. And, and Kino. I tell you what, Kino comes in his first year in the Northern Ireland final. Could yeah. be the. Yeah. Could be the. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, look, I what, said. What does that? What does that say, Shawnee? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know now. I I've said this to you. You know. That Keen O'Neill deserves huge, huge credit for this. Huge credit. You don't go from Galway being poor enough, is it fair to say, the last couple of years, probably. I mean, uh, you know, for for the for the for the level of ability there, right, and quality there, they've been poor enough. Tactically, tactically, Tact- they look much better. Yeah, and and look that that you know the, the manager didn't go to a course in the off season, like you know what I mean, like as in the, you know the fella came in here and who and, and done something about this, like so. Uh, so in fairness to him, that's 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 what's after happening here, and they look very very tactically aware, tactically astute, and they're a right good side. And we won't preview this, but they, they have a chance. They have, they have a chance, like they definitely do. They do have a chance. I agree with you. I do agree yeah. with you, and that's the big thing in terms of adaptability, turn and like with Kate, in fairness, like they're not afraid to mix it up here. Like they're not afraid, like. During, during the game and look at they were tentative and it was probably uh, probably you know going after the Jerry kick out you know it was you know it's not not new or anything like that but like you know the, like with Keen like in fairness to him now and they had look at like, we did say like oh we have good they have good play, like individually they're very like when you have when you have three or th- I'm not going to say three but definitely two of the top yeah. fours in the country yeah. you're always going to have a chance and you have a good in terms of Conroy is a good um, sure. baller in terms of a shooter in terms of transition the, the football from one end to the other. Like Dane's a good worker beside him. They've got good workers in Johnny Heaney and uh, is it Fitz or Lee? Uh, no, corner? it's it's no Patrick Kelly. Patrick Kelly. Uh, he's raw enough now, Patrick Kelly. Yes, he, he, he is. He's, Smart, but, but he's a worker. He, He's worked. talented. He's talented. Uh, a big wand of a left foot on him, but yeah, he yeah, he's he's work to do. But he's doing the job for him at the minute. Yeah, and look, we we said this before with Kildare and 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 Kerry. Look, they're they're fulfilling their roles. They, they, yeah. Look at Goy play. They, they play very similar to Kerry in fairness to them. Yeah, um, they probably a bit more. They, they can go more defensive sometimes. Yeah. But again, with the short kickouts nowadays, look at with the short kickouts, JB, it's just. It's a lot more defensive because the the build up play is is it's slower gone. and people yeah. people just yeah. they, people nearly just wander back at this stage. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They, they obviously they won't they won't let their man go and they just literally the slow transition and it's just like Dublin had, geez, a lot of times Dublin had fifteen men behind the ball or you know they yeah. definitely or not fifteen but they had definitely thirteen men behind the ball with just that slow transition play. So 
that's just the way the game's gone until they maybe, I don't change up the kick-out rule, maybe to go out to the 45 or something like yeah. that to speed things up. Maybe that might be a good... But, uh, do, we, do, do, do we need to? Like, why, why, like, what are we... Like, you know, why, what's wrong with the tactical teams dropping off? And now, don't get me wrong, I want to see football. Don't get me wrong, no. Don't get me wrong, I want to see football. I want to see end-to-end stuff like we got Sunday most of the time rather than Saturday's puke a lot of the time. Let's be honest, it was not good to watch a lot of the time on Saturday. But, um... um I think leave it alone a bit now for a while. Jeez, the fucking rule changes would drive you mad. Like, wouldn't they? They'd drive you mad. I know, yeah, yeah. They would, no. they would at first. Uh, yeah. I suppose, yeah. But the, there was a, mad, a, a good contrast in terms of the two games on Saturday and Sunday. In terms well, of I, 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 I'll give you a good one here, right? Derry at 16. Let, let me see this now. Derry at 16 scoring chances from play, right? And Galway at 15, right? Uh, Derry can, uh, can, uh, converted <laughs> five. Through the 70 minutes, they only had 16. Yeah. Should only kicked one six. Jeez, right? 16, but it's usually up in the high 20s, David. Yeah. I'm going to give you the Dublin one now, right? So they converted five at M16, right? And they had eight wides, right? Galway had 15 scoring chances from play, and they converted six of them and seven wides, right? Now, Dublin had 22 scoring chances from play, and they converted 11 of them and eight wides, right? Kerry had 19 chances from play and converted 11 of them and four wide. So just look at the... You wouldn't even have to watch the games and you can fairly look at going, geez, there's a fair difference in quality here now, a fair difference in, yeah. in, 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 in attacking ability here. Like, you know, um, it's not horrendous. Like, that in 75 minutes of football, they'd 16 chances is all in 75. Like, why, why, why are we not in the game to score and to get forward and to, you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but sure, when you, when you think about it, David, when you don't fucking, when you don't press the kickouts and you yeah. let them have the fucking kickouts, that's fine. Like, you know yourself, a possession could take three, four three, minutes. Out of off the clock, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Like, it's just, it's, Jesus, if I was a player now and I'm fucking, and I'm, I'm like corner forward and I'm seeing, I'm hearing my manager saying, oh, we'll, we let them have the kick out. I'd be going because that, that that's a lot harder for me to score than as a corner forward. You're looking for a slow build up. You have fucking two or three sweepers back, as one of the boys used to say, Sanchez's little helpers all around you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the corner back with, with two or three Sanchez's little helpers. And like, it's bloody, it's hard to, like, you're. You can't really win primary ball. It's you're looping around, yeah. slower build up, and you're just hoping for know, free, hoping for free, hoping for, hope for free, or you're hoping for maybe a five, a little pocket of space where you can send yeah. the boot at it. Like that's, yeah. you know, um, it's 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 frustrating. Like it is very frustrating. And and look at the the difference obviously with Claire Goy was you know the the conditioning and Jerry yeah. obviously just ran through Claire and made them look like superstars, but. You know, we, we soon see on Saturday night what a, a real conditioned team looks like, and, and, and that's it. Won't work. No, and, and 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 like I think Derry were lucky to be honest with you, it was Galway and not Dublin or Kerry because I think I think they could have been opened up badly. I think they could be badly exposed uh, last Saturday, yeah. Saturday evening there if the draw had been the other way around. You know, because the, uh, the last 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 thing I'll finish on with this McKinless for Derry, and I was delighted to see him get the yellow card for pulling him, uh, yeah. pulling the hand in. Yeah, absolutely delighted yeah, with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Again, what's it? Top class referee. In fairness to them, right? They were yeah. ex, they were excellent all weekend. Yeah. And 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 again, there was a couple of times there. That one in particular, where your average man will give a free in all day long because it's the handy one. It's the handy one yeah. with the free in all day long. Whereas that was a brilliant decision. And and what does it do? It stops. It stops the shite. People stop doing it because you know they're not going to take the chance anymore. You know that kind of way. No. So uh, no, no, fairness, big chance, big fairness, chance. Um. um Last one, Westmead and Cavan. I think we both called this wrong, did we? Um, yeah, I'm going to give ourselves a small bit of a reprieve here. I thought Gallagher sent it off. Probably, yeah, I, thought, I think Cavan would. Yeah, I think Cavan would have shaded it. Yeah. To be honest with you, no, I'm not yeah. taking away anything from Westmead. Obviously, the the you know the two goals. Jesus, I tell you what, the two goals are outrageous. Yeah. Um, piece of skills. It would just get back to the off. I thought it was a Sinden off, as we were saying before. The risk reward now for going in and going into a, a challenge like yeah. that in terms of get, getting the shoulder in the big hit. Just you know, I just don't see the reward in that anymore. Maybe back 10, 15 years ago, he probably would have got away with it with a yellow card, but now obviously with head injuries and everything yeah. Everyone's kind of more conscious over that. It's just the referees are, are being told to you know it's a straight red and that's it. So um uh, that yeah, that that happened probably with 15 minutes to go. I'd say 
um, 58 minutes or something like that on the clock. Yeah. Um, and obviously, he's, Gallagher's a massive player for them. Were they two up at that stage? Yeah. I, I think they was it two yeah. up? Um, I but was. yeah, but um, I thought. I thought the the lock and Jola goal was was an outrageous piece of scale in terms yeah. of to come to come across your body with yeah. the left foot and go to the, his left side was was it was the only place it could have went was top corner isn't it yeah it, yeah it was it was was savage yeah. really really great goal and I thought Kieran Martin was just I was delighted for him he's been a he's been a long serving servant yeah. for for Westmead and just you know in fairness to him he. He just kind of shook the head. He put the head down and said, "Fuck it, I'm going to have a cut here, and what, what happens happens." But he's just... always been that kind of bull, hasn't he? He's always been that comer kind of player, that real direct. Yeah. Like, and, and he scored a brilliant goal into the same end against Mead, if I remember correctly. I don't know how many years ago, six, seven years yeah. ago. Yeah. That so yeah. he he has form. I wonder, has he been injured or is he coming to the end or what's his story? He has only been. Yeah, he's he's probably up in his early thirties now, Dave. Maybe right. I don't know, I'm sure he's, he's been he's been there a long time, and maybe I sure got like look at we don't know outside don't know. commitments. He could have a young yeah, family, yeah. as you know yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, yeah, takes some it takes up a bit of time. Yeah. But um, I was delighted. For, I thought, geez, I thought the cabin uh, Patrick Lynch for cabin the fourteen. He he scored two, two outrageous points. Yeah, um, one in the first half from the. From, it was out out near the corner on the 14 yard line and just swung just stepped inside and swung the boot out. It was a gorgeous point. Thought he showed well for them for uh for Cavan. I thought look at the, the main players obviously Galligan McCarran, you know, primary possession, transitioned the ball, did quite well. Sorry, David, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, no, I thought I thought Ray Canelli played well for them. I thought um, I thought he did quite well. I just look at it, I thought look at being brutally honest, I thought Cavill would have would have edged them. Um, yeah. Uh, but obviously they sent it off and uh, but look, Westmead took their chances that Martin's uh, goal in the last ten minutes, he was positive and he was rewarded for it and, and fair play to them. And again, you could see the celebrations in Mulligar. Uh, and most in Westmead on, on social media, it was look, it was great to see. To be honest, it's just yeah. something, as we said before, something tangible for the yeah. for the kind of second tier teams, and they can build now for next year. It's a feel good factor going into it. And and one thing on it, I I felt the same that at that stage, Cavan would have pushed on, but I will say Cavan's goal was lucky ish again in that it was a, a shot yeah. for a score yeah. came down and they the cabin scoring more goals like that than anyone else in the country or it's just me they seem to always get a big goal off that ball dropping short you know they seem to yeah be, seem to get yeah. it but um and uh, they did not win an ulster a couple of years ago off one or two of them i think they did so yeah 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 so but but look as regards to talent cup what a what a you know what a brilliant year for it you couldn't ask for any more it's been a massive spectacle 50 50 games we had penalty shootouts teams at their own levels something tangible for teams to look work towards and um, I, I am i right in thinking do westmead get 50 or 60 grand now towards a team holiday or something did i read that somewhere, somewhere 60 60 yeah. like, yeah, geez, what, what a carrot in itself because i'm sure see we weren't all as privileged as like to you your you boys in dublin and Kerry's and all this heading off to jamaica you know we're, we're, Whereas, no, we, we were to miami miami yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> miami vice was it so, yeah. uh, so like we uh, South, you know, South Beach, South Beach. Yeah. But like <laughs> you can imagine being from Leitrim or, or any of these counties looking on at fucking end of Valley and his mates in South Beach, like you know what I mean? Like and and, and you're slogging week on week for absolutely yeah. nothing, you know. So it's a huge carrot that Westmead now are getting looked after for and they can go on a brilliant holiday and well deserved holiday. They're a long time on the road, Ray and Ellen, long time on the road, John Heston, Ronan O'Toole, really good. Like but, you know who's the exceptional but, actually before I finish up. Kevin Maguire is an exceptional yes. fullback yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, you know yeah. an exceptional leader. And I even remember yeah. Daniel Finn talking about it. I remember Daniel speaking about who's the toughest man you marked. He references Maguire regularly because he probably plays him a lot. Yeah. But yeah. um um uh, he's uh and his dive on the ball, a point blank range, that's a real captain, isn't it? A real leader yeah. that is. Fair play to him. Yeah, and we're saying, look at them, them long serving. Like you're talking, Maguire's around ten years, I'd say, David, yeah. at this stage. Yeah. Except for Martin as well. Like, and Canellan's been there a few years, and Heslin as well. Like, and look at what what do you want? Like that medal 
is a, is a representation of what that hard work over the last few years. And when you look yeah. back in your career, it's all about your middle count and them kind of memories, what, what those medals represent. Yeah. And like a lot of lads finish up with no fucking medals. And it's just, it's, it's a sad situation. You know, and even the team holiday, like that, that team, but like, like we, we went on, as you're saying, with, with the, I know we're fucking taking the piss here, but my, we went to Miami and Dubai, like, and it's just it, the, the memories you get from those holidays, yeah. you know, yeah. you'll always remember the years and, you know, it's, it's a kind of, it's a standout moment, if you know what I mean. So the West Speed boys now have that, have that, you know, they, this coming couple of months, probably they might go, I don't know when yeah. they'll go, whatever it goes, but they'll go for probably a week or 10 days. And it's oh, just, yeah. look, it's just, it's just, it's brilliant to see, to be honest. And it's for all, you know, all the hard work they're putting in five, I'm going to say, Jeffrey, three sessions on the pitch, two yeah. sessions in the gym, all the yeah. rehab, fucking uh, the, the recovery sessions, the ice baths, all the fucking pain. Yeah. And like, you know, and then, they, you know, they'll have a reunion now, maybe in 10 years time, Tangent Cup winners, the inaugural winners yeah. office. And, you know, it's just, look at, as we said before, it's just, I just I can't speak highly enough off the competition, and it's just brilliant to see those teams get recognition, uh, national recognition. Two two last things on I'd say is one, uh, it needed Cavan Westmead awfully the, the big teams to buy into it, and they did. Yes. right. It, it yeah. needed the big team. I'd say downward probably the only team that didn't, bigger team that didn't, but your down didn't buy into too much, so so we can't really you know. So but it needed the big teams, and fair play to the big teams. The two biggest teams were in the final, and whatever back yeah. you know. But the last thing I'll say on your holiday point, you know this as well as I know it. The big carrot now is them boys get to bring their missus away on a luxury holiday somewhere, right? And and, and yeah. I'm actually being serious here though. Like yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a massive carrot, yeah. and and I'm leaving here five nights a week, leaving you here on your own or whatever it might be, you know. And you, it's the same in every house, in every county, in Clover County. And you know, you could say we're going here, and thanks very much for sticking with me. I know I'm a bollocks a lot of time. I know I have to go five nights a week, but th- th- thanks for sticking the bed. The kids are better than nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like, and now, and now, here's a small payback, small token that this is what we can do now. You know, and and that goes a long way. Like, goes a huge long. Actually, Horn, Horn, that was one of his his main things. He always used to say that we'd have a logistics kind of guy, and he always used to say, make sure the girlfriends are happy. <laughs> when yeah, they're away yeah, on the holiday, when they're away yeah, the holiday, yeah. make yeah. sure they're happy, especially with seats or coke or tickets or anything like that. Yeah, because yeah. they're obviously they're an extension. Man. Yeah, they're an extension off off that player, and you know yourself if if the wife or the girlfriend's not happy, right. then. It, well, it, you're, it, you're landing. You're landing the train, and with your head fried. You're clearly yeah. not tuned in, and you're pissed yeah. off. You could go out then after a long day's work, fatigue. You could yeah. be after getting an earful, and then you could pull your hamstring because you're not right. You know that kind of way, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. so. So not all that. Type but of but stuff. but you're you're right, though, Jimmy. It is a small recognition with the the bullshit they have to put up with throughout yeah. the year. In fairness, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, the time the time commitments that obviously we have to go through and as a result we're obviously at home and you know yeah. kids or any whatever it is like obviously but it's it's you know a bit of recognition uh, as you said and it go, it does go a bit of the I way don't say it 100% 100% but I don't um, know, there's, there's a couple there's a couple here hold on um Porter Porter is it true that Davy's name is in the hat for the Mayo job <laughs> <laughs> I'd no, I'd say it's a bit too uh, far for me, lads. Uh, applications, applications actually uh, are in for uh, late July. The uh, the opening was it for today, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, now you're already. Right, <laughs> uh, three hour commute, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no. lovely. Uh, who else? Uh, but uh, Kevin, lad, should Clifford not have been black carrier for the high challenge? Was no. a professional forward stop in Dublin getting up the field? Fuck, when was that? I High tackle on Cooper early on. Um, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was a yellow card all day. It was a yellow card all day. He struck him more than struck him more than. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that was only after six minutes. That was six yeah. minutes. It's yeah. very early. Uh, Connor, one or two is top quality. Would be talked up a lot more if from a top tier county. Yeah, good player. Uh, Longman uh, centre forward, good player. And he was excellent the other day. Excellent on, on, on Saturday. Um, uh, Port great to see a large Westmead crowd welcome home for the team yeah brilliant yeah and, and again why because they would something to play for it was a competition 50-50 game and they went out and won it and that's what brings people that's what puts bums on seats simple as simple as that yeah big time um, that's is that it yeah that's that's it I'd say yeah that's it um, lovely 
so we'll um i'm sure we'll come back and 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 and, and do it have a look going, forward going, to you. going for sam now going yeah. for sam. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I might tip going just so <laughs> hopefully my yeah. stop, stop you can, the tricks uh, you can leave that poor old guy with him alone now he's what you yeah. said you, didn't go, you know you didn't trust him or you can't, you can't trust <laughs> no, him. no 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 i no i said i've absolutely no faith in this guy <laughs> right, right 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 well you're gonna have to you're gonna have to rethink that i'd say but, um, i know right I know. go on Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks, Dave. Bye-bye.